In this video, we will be explaining the importance of chiasmata and how many are typically found in each bivalent, which occur during prophase 1 of meiosis. Before we talk about this, we need to know exactly what is occurring during meiosis and how prophase 1 leads to the formation of bivalents, or a pair of homologous chromosomes. Meiosis is a special type of cell division that occurs in sexually reproducing organisms in order to produce gametes, such as a sperm or egg cell. It involves two rounds of cell division that ultimately results in four cells, with only one copy of each chromosome. Of all the stages that occur in meiosis, prophase I holds particular importance as homologous chromosomes, meaning one maternal and one paternal, are paired and exchange genetic material. This is known as chromosomal crossover and results in recombinant chromosomes during sexual reproduction. This is important as without crossover between the bivalents, all alleles or genes from both parents would be inherited together instead of independently. This is where the importance of chiasmata comes. A chiasma is the point of contact, the physical link between two chromatids belonging to homologous chromosomes. At a given chiasma, the exchange of genetic material can occur between both chromatids, as we now know is referred to as chromosomal crossover. In humans, there seems to be one chiasma per chromosome arm, meaning that the DNA is exposed and exchanged only in that site, a minimum of once and rarely more than three times. Through this, we can see how important chiasmata are to bivalents, and how this information from both the paternal and maternal chromatids is exchanged, and a recombination of paternal and maternal genes can be passed down to the new cell, or progeny.